um, no fridge intro today. We have a serious topic. I got a J-O-B, as you know. Yeah, I've been doing a, a lot of stuff at work. Been pretty busy. Actually, uh, the room is still kind of messy because of it. I haven't gotten uh, fully unpacked, even though we're like a month and a half in, which is quite unfortunate. I'll get to it soon. But uh, yeah, since I'm in a new job, I've had to do a lot of learning, a lot of new things to absorb. So much cool stuff coming at me. Um, and yeah, since I have more information to ingest, I've been looking into more tools. I'm still working on the Obsidian video, actually. But um, yeah, today I'm showing you guys something super cool called Recall AI because everything's AI now. But um, yeah, we can get right into it. Yeah, so like I said, I've been at my J-O-B, been working a lot recently, but I don't know, I've not been feeling the greatest, been feeling kind of burnt out still. Um, trying to gym a lot, I got back up to a plate on bench and stuff, but yeah, I've just been feeling in the dumps slightly, so. Hopefully getting back into video making will get me out of it. <laughs> it's originally got me into video making. I was looking in a slump and then I started grinding again. So hopefully that happens. Um, I'll be looking into making reels soon. Uh, hopefully combat some of that brain rot that's going on. Although I'm pretty brain rotted myself right now. But yeah, let me know if there's any cool content you want to see. I will totally be down for it. I've been playing a lot of board games with my friends actually. Um, yeah. Maybe some content on that too. Some of the deck building and stuff is really cool. Um, yeah, but let's get into Recall. Super cool ecosystem. Works with all the other tools I use. Um, and yeah, since I'm doing front end, back end model training, I'm learning a lot of new stuff and I really need to get caught up and make sure I don't get fired. So let's get into it. Yo, so uh, like I said, it's been a busy month for me. Uh, since school ended, I've been working as a software engineering intern, currently at uh, Manifold Labs. And there's been a lot of new technology to get used to, uh, a lot of ideas to absorb from uh, people that are working there, people around me. Um, and yeah, I wanted to talk a bit more about methods that I've been using. I have continued to use um, most of the note-taking methods that I showed y'all in college. Uh, I slowed down a little on the Emacs and I've actually been writing stuff more, writing down a lot more stuff. But yeah, today we're going to show off a tool called Recall. Special thanks to them for actually sponsoring today's video as well. Um, Recall is basically a way to create an ecosystem that helps you save a lot of time in ingesting online content, uh, helps you organize it, finds connection uh, to different types of online content that you've been taking it, and it can even help you remember uh, what happened in that type of online content. So um, yeah, I have a habit of writing down stuff that's interesting to me than like totally forgetting about it. And recall is an option that has a better way of organizing something like that for you. Helps you keep track of ideas that you're really curious about and um, make sure you don't lose them. I do have uh, a lot of changes that I've made on my Mac workflow setup. So I do plan on making a video on that soon. Yeah, I've continued to still use Firefox. So yeah. Um, so the first way that I mainly tend to use uh, Recall is for studying. Um, let's say recently I've been looking a lot into BitTensor because that's kind of the the ecosystem that my um, that our company is built around because it's a, a crypto company. Um, so if we look into let's say like this kind of video, it's an hour long, right? It's a documentary. Even if I watch something like this, um, I definitely wouldn't remember all of it, and certainly there'd be points that I would recall uh, like specific points of text or quotes from that I wouldn't be able to pinpoint exactly like I'd have to jump around the video right and the person but um, if I go here uh, this is the extension this is what creates this little side pro side piece here I can summarize um, this entire page it'll take in everything here and then I'll be able to save it into my notebook um, here I chose the concise summary option, but you can also go detailed. Uh, they're pretty straightforward. One is concise, one is detailed. There's also a reader view where it'll just print out a transcript of everything. So um, here, let me pull up my recall like hub first. I still haven't fully gone around to um, using Obsidian. That's what I plan to try out next. But uh, because this idea actually caught my eye first while I was working on my Obsidian video. 
yeah, so all of the ideas that I have saved are here on the left. Um, as you can see on this sidebar, you can organize them into different categories. I think this one is kind of like my productivity YouTube cited uh, video section. This is just like cool tech videos that I watched. Uh, it's an interesting dieting video. And then here I have uh, a little folder about BitTensor just filled with docs from BitTensor themselves. But let me add in the the card that we just put in, which is the Decentralized Minds uh, documentary video. Like you saw, uh, here's the concise summary going on from here. What I can do is I can add more notes. Uh, I can say uh, more talk about BitTensor and that'll save it along with all the other summarized notes that um, the AI has made for me. Uh, like I said, here's the transcript. If I want to go through and look for a specific quote or line that I had, and finally here, I can actually chat with the source content. So let's say I wanted to go to this specific quote. For right? um, basically producing that. And so BitTensor is just the latest iter- Fun fact, this is my boss, um, Robert Myers. He's the GOAT. And this 20, 30 year cypherpunk- Okay, so let's say um, I want to go right there, right? Uh, when did Robert Myers talk about BitTensor being like a cyberpunk technology? Let's ask it that. Um, it'll be able to give me exactly where this happened. So let's hit that timestamp button. It's right Latest here. Latest iteration. Um, and this yeah, 20, this is right 30 where we were. year cyberpunk Myers, dream. My boss telling us about how cool BitTensor is which is really cool. I wouldn't have been able to find that off rip if I had watched this documentary, let's say a couple days ago, and then I returned to it. And that's what's so great about this. Uh, I can just add this into my notebook and it'll just be saved. I'll know when uh, Robert Myers, my boss, talked about BitTensor being like cyberpunk, which is really cool. Uh, going on from there, you can also generate questions uh, for spaced repetition on a topic. Obviously, I wouldn't use it for something like uh, this video, a lot of the concepts are just something you kind of remember. Um, it's not really content that you need to be quizzed over exactly. I mean, unless you want to like go into an interview and glaze somebody. But um, yeah, quiz generation is something that is possible with this technology, which is super cool. Feature Justin uh, stepping in here real quick, but here is the quiz uh, feature that I was talking about before. I didn't quite get to show y'all in this video. So um, here you can see how there's a set of questions that get generated and each one has a pre-selected answer. Uh, you can change these however you want to, edit them, delete them. And here I can start a review. It'll also remind you every once in a while to actually come and do this kind of spaced repetition, which is really important. So yeah, that's how the quiz function works. We can go in here and actually check out all the connections that it makes. So in this specific video, this is all like the topics that are mentioned. Like if I click on this one, uh, I can find Satoshi Nakamoto, who's the developer of Bitcoin. Um, and I'll know he's mentioned in the, the video. If we go back to our chat, we can actually ask, when was Satoshi... Wait, okay, I, I don't remember his name, my bad. When was the founder of Bitcoin? We can go back and ask the chat, when was the founder of Bitcoin mentioned? And it'll tell, tell us exactly where our boy was mentioned. Uh, Satosh, Satoshi Nakamoto was at 1816 and 3544. Um, might as well add that to our notebook, right? So yeah, you can see directly all the different connections that are coming out of this video. And then a part that I think you guys will really enjoy, uh, all of you Emacs and Obsidian and Nose users, you can actually find, uh, like, you can see the connections between all of these different topics. So this is all from this specific BitTensor uh, folder. See, it's selected here. Um, if I go in deeper, I can see how all of these different um, topics are connected. So this is our specific, our new documentary, and it's created all of these different connections to these topics. And then these are all the other pages that I had that are already connected with BitTensor. Um, I can also do this for literally everything. All of my uh, cards that I have saved on here connect with themselves through AI, which is super cool. Um, this is something that I actually wish that my Obsidian setup had, but it's not something that's possible through stock Obsidian. You need to get uh, a good amount of plugins, I think. I couldn't fully get it to work how I want it on my setup either. And yeah, you can see how this connects through a lot of different connections and points. 
Um, this is connecting even to the productivity stuff, which is um, super cool. Yeah, you can see how all of your different uh, concepts and ideas that you've saved for later actually connect back to each other. Um, it really helps with like knowledge, retention, seeing connections that you weren't really sure were there before, which is super cool. Um, and then finally, if I go back specifically to our note, our Decentralized Minds documentary note, let's go into this guy. Um, what I actually like to do is download these summaries. I can export it into Markdown and let's get up Kitty here. Uh, I'm in my downloads folder. Let's envim into decentralized. Boom. I can go in and look at all of this, which is super cool. Uh, yeah. And as you can see here, all of the notes that I actually added are right here. You can see um, Robert Myers being like our Robert Myers uh, talk being in there. Let me zoom in on that a bit. You can see our Robert Myers talk. You can see the oops. I did not mean to do that. You can see our note, more talk about bin tensor being in there as well. And then, yeah, it's super cool. I like saving my notes this way too. I can export them onto anything. Like I can just throw this into my Emacs config and it'll just be there. I can add more connections along to the e Emacs notes that I took if I wanted. Um, yeah, it doesn't just stay here. If I pull up something like, let's say, let's go back to the actual bit tensor website, right? Bit tensor. Um, Let's explore about what's really cool is that it actually adds augmented browsing into uh, your browser if you have this extension, right? We've already saved this page before, so that's why there's a summary for it. But see how these like words are highlighted. If I hover over them, it'll it'll go to like different connections that I've already made before. If we hover over BitTensor, you can see all the different connections that we have with it already saved into our knowledge base. Um, you can actually see the documentary that we just put in right here, Decentralized Minds the BitTensor Revolution, which is super cool. It'll pull up all the different times BitTensor was mentioned, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you can see the same thing happens for other words, blockchain, one connection, but um, yeah, it happens with a lot of different words, especially those that are like more mentioned inside of your knowledge graph. So when you're viewing new content, it allows you to kind of see how it connects back to what you've already known. Another way that you can use recall that I didn't really get to show is for other types of pages. You don't have to use it on a video like we did on our BitTensor documentary. Um, here, I've been researching about PyTorch fully shorted, sharded data parallel, FSDP. And um, I can just grab this guy, open it up. It'll already have my summary in it. So yeah, throw that into my notebook. And it'll be here. It's really cool as you add cards, you can really see how the complexity grows in um, connections between your different topics. And that'll show up as well on your augmented browsing. So yeah, a lot of really cool stuff that you didn't really think about. Um, honestly, this is pretty similar to what I was doing, or kind of similar to what I was doing with my uh, NLP research at Purdue, um, looking at connections that, or connections between groups that weren't there before that you kind of see only because uh, AI kind of points them out, although we would be the ones processing it then and not the AI. Uh, anyways, super cool. And uh, I have to say, like, one of my favorite features is just downloading these guys into Markdown and just putting them into whatever other, like, outside file organization I have. It's just really useful, especially if I want to keep a lot of my stuff um, not only within the browser. Today, uh, we will be finishing up our video here on um, our trusty MacBook camera instead of our weekly film as we usually do. This piece is a little bit easier. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, even though I've been away. Uh, let me know what you think about Recall if you guys do try it out. It's at getrecall.ai. I should have a discount for you guys in the description, although there is a free trial for you guys to check out the tools initially. Um, I have some really very cool projects surrounding modding electronics coming up. We have sneak peek. Uh, we have this guy this is a framework main board. I have some really cool projects planned with this. I just need to get all of the components. Unfortunately, it is very, very extremely heavy on my wallet to do these things and uh, pretty time consuming as well, which is difficult with my work and all the other things I try to keep up with in my life. Um, yeah. 
as always, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your support. Let me know if you have any specific videos that you want to see, whether it's work related or um, just advice or just us chilling. You know how we are here at the Jaquan Corporation. Um, yeah, thanks again for watching. Leave me any comments. Uh, let me know what you think about recall. Have a nice day, y'all.